And speaking of Super Bowls, I tease going into the segment, we're missing somebody. I haven't seen a picture of Aaron Rodgers. I haven't heard from Aaron Rodgers. I haven't learned anything more about ayahuasca trips. I haven't seen pictures of Aaron looking like, you know, Nick Cage from Con Air. And if you're going to make me watch Pat McAfee to hear what Aaron Rodgers has to say, that's fine. Just tell me when he's on. <laughs> but where's he been? It's like, where's Waldo? What do you want from him? I, I want more. I want Aaron Rodgers. I want to hear Aaron Rodgers because it's always so awkward. He will have a weekly press conference that he will do, and he'll speak on McAfee. Like, what, yeah, what, what do you want from the guy? It feels like he's prepared for the season. It's a big season nah, for him. Prepared. He didn't even play in the preseason. <laughs> he woke up this morning. He was prepared. Like, I need a dating scandal. I need someone to take a shot at him. That bothers him. I need his wide receivers to be dropping balls at practice, and for him to come out and say, "Where's Devontae Adams?" Right? I got like. So when's too, the last time you heard him say anything? He's too mature for you. Huh? He's too mature for you now. No way. No, he's too absent for me. Okay. He's a lightning rod. And I'm, I respect his talent, but I also like making fun of everything he does and <laughs> says off the field, right? So the fact that I've gone, it seems like a month now, without any Aaron Rodgers news, mm -hmm. like he's got to be dating someone. There's got to be a wide receiver he's mad at. <laughs> Like, maybe Devontae Adams doesn't return his calls anymore. Can't we invent something to talk about with Aaron Rodgers? Always can invent something to talk about with Aaron Rodgers. But would you rather him, honestly, would you rather him play bad so you could talk about him playing bad? Or would you rather him play good and have him just say something that drives you nuts? The Aaron Rodgers, to me, is one of the faces of the league. Yes. The better he plays, the more fun it is for all of us. Like, oh, 100%. Aaron Rodgers is one of those guys. I don't root against him. You know, his career is coming to an end, which is not going to be good for us because we're fans of the product. And that's my point here. I've gone so long without Aaron Rodgers. This is what life's going to be like in a couple of years when he decides to hang it up. I don't want those days. I love Tom Brady. I love Aaron Rodgers. I love the great players because they're great. Like, the sport needs those guys. And I feel like he's been hiding. And I'm sure he does it on purpose. But I need oh. you, Aaron Rodgers. Call me. Email. We can start a text relationship. I need you in my life reappear somehow. Do you think that he's nervous about this season so he's laying low? No, I don't think Aaron Rodgers gets nervous. You don't think nervous? I think the only thing that would be like a checklist of his that would, and I hate using this word because I don't think it's appropriate, but concern him is there's a legacy question for him. Hall of Famer, 100%. first out, yes. He's won a Super Bowl. He he's got all the MVPs. He needs, he needs one. He needs one more. Yeah, yes. like he is already going to go down as one of the great quarterbacks that has ever played. Correct. But the difference between winning one Super Bowl and anything beyond that is a legacy issue. And I think that'd be the only box that he kind of has unchecked right now. That if you said to him, like, what's your biggest concern of how people talk about your career? Yeah. It's that. It's not the MVPs he's got him. It's not the stats he's got him. It's not where he is in the pantheon of great quarterbacks. Yeah. He's one of the greats of all time. But... Eli Manning's got two. Yeah. Brady's got a hundred. Peyton's got two. Yeah. You need a second one, and then there's never a question about yeah. where you stand. Yep. Say, oh, say he retires. He be, do you become the biggest uh, Jeopardy fan ever because he takes over Jeopardy? By the way, let's be honest about this. Jeopardy made a good decision not hiring him to be the host. He has no personality. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait no, you just said you wait, wait. love everything you, you, he said. You yeah. want him to talk. Yeah. But you think he has a bad personality. Because I love the player. Oh. Yeah. He but he's got, I mean, he's Because it's right? so awkward. Yeah. He's just a weird guy. Yeah. But that weirdness, you know, puts money in my bank account. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I can't get enough Aaron Rodgers, but I wouldn't hire him to MC my birthday party. I wouldn't hire him to be the host of Jeopardy, throw footballs, and be weird. Who, That's what I like about it. Who would you hire to MC your birthday party? The New York Jets <laughs> are about to announce who their starting quarterback is for 2022. Hopefully that will happen while we're on the air. It's my go-to. Uh, who would I hire to yeah. MC my kid's party? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, you need the money. Yes, I do. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Oh, that'd be good. He'd be solid. <laughs> He'd be solid. That'd be amazing. Can you imagine Mike Tyson hosting your kid's party? And I'm just going to give you the same tattoo that I have. <laughs> and all the kids are going to love it. And it's <laughs> what kind of balloon animals like, do you make? Let me just walk through this real quick. I know we got to take a break, but real quick. You're the dad. 
Mike Tyson, your son, is sitting on his knee like he's Santa Claus. And he's like, I think I'm going to give you a tattoo. <laughs> what dad says, yo, champ, stop writing up oh, my no, no, no. Dad, right? hold back the wife. Like, the hun, 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 not right. Hun, just shh. It's okay. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.